Junkies, welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ass trading mentors free trading video for Thursday, March 15th, 2012. This morning we had a total of four executable kiss signals for a max potential of 15 ES ticks per contract traded. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability kiss trade setup and give you a feel for the number of trades taken each morning in our live room. Our full trading plan, educational DVDs, and trading room access can be found on our website at eminijunkie.com. Started off this morning with a KISS short that did produce a downside uh, target of three ticks and there was an opportunity to run this down. You can see uh, we went down to a low around 87.50 before bouncing up through our moving average and getting a signal long. And uh, as we pointed out yesterday, these, these green lines trailing the down movement, that would be a potential trailing stop if you had multiple contracts. And the red lines following the up movement would be a trailing stop following uh, multiple contracts to the upside. So we had a signal long that did produce full target. Again, an opportunity to trail that to the upside. And then we had a, a, an interesting little bit of back and forth here that happened uh, after uh, 11 o'clock. We came down through the moving average. We ended up with a signal to get short. And uh, that signal just immediately was working against us. In fact, while in that short, we had a signal to get long. So in the room, we actually were able to get out of that for a break even or uh, actually a couple uh, ticks in our favor but if you took it all the way through and let's say you held it um, after the signal long and you took the stop out um, when it came down through that trailing stop you know that would count as a, a, a two tick loss in that instance and then we had a signal long like I said and there was an entry and that signal long entry would have given you seven ticks to the upside so it would have taken you uh, reversing positions after the change in signals, taking the stop out as the trail came down. However, if you just held on to that position and you did not uh, you know, flatten out like we suggested in our room today or, or even take the opposite direction and you just held that trade for the full initial stop out on the short entry, you would have taken uh, an eight tick stop. And that's what I have marked to the side there. So uh, instead of being four trades for 15 ticks, you would have just had the three trades, you would have had the, the three tick winner, the seven tick winner, and then an eight tick loss. So you would have had three trades for only two ticks had you not done, um, you know, taking your stop in reverse directions to go long there. So I want to show you some uh, support and resistance bands we also use in the room. So I'm going to pause this video real quick, change up the chart, and, and lay in our uh, what we call our micro bands, and I'll be right back. One quick second. Okay, I'm back. I want to uh, talk a little bit about what we call our micro bands in the rooms, and that's these teal bands you see uh, on the screen here. These are areas of support and resistance. Now, I post these to our room members daily, and we give these uh, prior to the market opening. These are uh, areas of support and resistance we expect the market to trade around uh, during the day. And you can see in the overnight session we came down, we found support at this lower band, moved up in the pre-market, there was some resistance, but this first trade we had on the open that came down, we talk about uh, the trade itself when we had a three tick target, and that was met very early, but obviously there was an opportunity to hold this into this band, this area of support, and get out, so that would have, that would have added to your uh, win total to the downside. The market actually ran through this level by uh, a couple of points there, came above it, and that's when we had our signal to get long, and that band now acted as support on that long signal. Again, just a seven tick winner to the upside, but you can see how the price went all the way up into this uh, micro band before finding resistance. And this is where we had that little back and forth, uh, you know, double signal price action where we, we came out of in the room. When this long came up into this band and actually broke the band, you can see it went above it came back to it, that band became support, and if we just kind of forward uh, what happened in, later in the day, we had another resistance point up here around 97.75, and the market traded up into that level later in the afternoon. So I'm just, uh, each day I'm, I'm giving you a little more of a peek of some of the tools and some of the things we use in our room, and uh, this highlight this afternoon was on the micro band, but uh, even with that, we had uh, four KISS trades today for 15 ES ticks. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.